health care area and um, a real focus. And that's a great way of learning your skills. It is truly the, the boot camp of the writing world. Okay, so well-crafted speech has, or, or craft the piece has a very clear message. Is it melodramatic? Is it um, newsworthy? Timely. So by timely, anybody know what that is? Timely? Working with a current issue in today's society? Yeah, yeah. So it could be something like it. It wouldn't necessarily have to be in a current issue. It could be the anniversary of something. So if you're writing, um, it's what I call uh, kite tailing. Is your piece kite tails onto something else? An anniversary of something. For instance, um, for people who come from the Midwest area, there was a fantastic uh, uh, event that was, or string of events last year um, that was all part of the new city of New Westminster in the Wait for New Daddy mm -hmm. project. Do you remember hearing about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that was an anniversary. That was the 60th, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. That was the 60th anniversary of that photograph of the little boy running to catch his father's hand. Um, that long, long line of soldiers. Mm -hmm. So timely, not because it happened right now, but timely because it was an anniversary of some kind. So it was um, uh, highlighted in some way. Okay, so um, let's talk about uh, things like the, the concept of the hook. And on the very last page, it's just kind of a little work page, and I just wanted to spend a little while actually um, writing down some notes so that at least you're going to start to process a little bit of what we're going to be talking about tonight. So on the last page, um, it, we're going to be just kind of quickly brainstorming. And I, I want how many people we've got? Three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, okay, 18, 18, 20 partners over here. And I, I'd like you to work in pairs for a few minutes. and in a few minutes after we finish off this page. And we're going to just start brainstorming to your partner. So just keep track of it in bullet points. And just tell them about these various aspects of a story you're working on or the story that you want to work on. Okay? We're going to do that in, in just a couple of minutes. So the who, what, where, when, why, and how. Just brainstorm like the who's of that story. like. Who's the story about? Who's going to read it? You know, who do you need to contact? Who do you need to interview? Who's going to give you information? You know, who's told you that this might be an interesting? So it's all the who's that you can think of. And we're not talking about an intellectual process here. Just brainstorm all the who parts of that story. The what parts. You know, what's the most important part of this story? What is the core of the story? All the what's you can think of. When? When is it taking place? And if it, not then, when should it take place? And uh, when do you need to have this finished by? When it, does it need to be started by? When does do the course of events change and to change the plot in some way? When is the reveal, what we call the big reveal of, this, of the story? When does that happen? The where's and so on. I think we can figure out where I'm saying. The biggie that most people rarely ask themselves is the why. And here's the big question of all, is why are you writing this story? Anybody ever ask you that? I mean, besides, you know, if you're getting paid for it. <laughs> Anybody ever ask themselves, why are you writing this story? I want you to write, answer that question. In the why part, write, why am I writing this story? Start that way. rarely ask us themselves that question. Because this gets to the real core of the, the real purpose of the story. And the how, write this question underneath it. How will this story benefit the reader? Okay, so as a warm-up, before you go into the twos, I'm going to ask you to just free write really, really quickly without any, you know, kind of overthinking at all and answer those two questions in, in just a second. Why am I writing this story and how? But before we go there, 
just to make sure. I mean, this stuff you can read on your own. You don't have to read through it here. The hooks is, you know, it, it, the hook is what draws people in. Um, if it's a short piece, you have to have, um, here we're starting to talk about some real mechanics now. In a short piece, and by short piece I mean, say under two or three thousand words, you have to have these in the first paragraph. So, um, these are the, all the things that have to be present in the story. Time, place, person. This is mechanics now. And along with the inform, inspire, and Okay, so what we're talking about here is these questions. When is this, when are we? When are we? Right now, this minute. In the story, when are we in time? Is it, what year is it? What day is it? What spring, what season is it? What time is it? Can we get that? Like literal time. So it's what we call grounding and time, place, sorry, and person. So in the hook, in the opening of your piece, no matter what it is, if it's a very short piece, this has to be established in the first two three paragraphs if it's a short piece. If it's a longer piece where it's going to be chapter-wise, this has to be established in the first two to three pages. When are we? Where are we? Who are we? Can we got that? Mm -hmm. So if these are missing, I mean, we can be all kinds of mysterious and, and interesting and fascinating. But fundamentally, these things have to be answered for this one reason. Because our left brain is, com is completely concerned with practicalities. It's our right brain that loves all the mystery and, and all the depths and the interesting twists and turns. But our left brain, literally in terms of brain function, our brain, if, if these, this isn't being answered, like mighty quick, is going to bug you and bug you. And by bug you, I mean, Take you restless and not pay attention and you're not in your dream. So it can be interesting and mysterious as long as subtly, you don't have to say, it was a dark and stormy night on March 19th, 2015, and we went to the, at the library. <laughs> oh, yeah. But somehow, subtly and interestingly, grounded in time, place, and person. Does that make sense to everybody? If not, the reader's left brain will be constantly looking for this information subliminally, and if it can't find it, it's going to be restless and not let you fall into the story. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. So this is a really critical thing right here. So if it's a short piece, in the first one or two paragraphs, like say up to 2,000 words, then I'm judging competitions like, let's say I judged an uh, essay competition of, I think it was 200 essays up to 3,000 words. Wow. And people say, oh, wait, I found it. I was a judge for the BC Book Awards two years ago. 87 books I had to judge. I had seven weeks to do it. Can you imagine? 87 books. So when people say, oh my god, that's impossible. No, it is not. No, it is not. Because you know why? Because if it's an essay, you're reading the first one to three paragraphs. And if it's a book, you're reading the first three pages. And then here's an editor trick. Ready? And every 30th page. <laughs> Remember that one? That's an editor's trick. Every 30th page after the first three pages. Because if your plot's not hanging together, and if your characters aren't constantly evolving and moving and changing, and if it isn't still intact, then you've got some work to do. You've got to go in and start you know, working with your material. Does that make sense? That's why editors at publishing houses can go through 300 book manuscripts a month. That's mostly what they're doing, by the way. Okay? That, so it, try that with yours. Mm -hmm. Try that with yours. And if your piece is, you know, 30 pages, read the first page, and then every 34th page after that. Is it still hanging together? It should. You know, it's the same concept as um, soap operas, right? You can see one, and then see one three months later, and you're still saying, you're just, you're good, you're good, you're good. It's fine. But it's not just because, you know, um, they're 
formulaic. It's because they're really 